Hi everyone, it's Fitz with another daily delivery here from AT&T Stadium. We're long home as you view this, but this is such a great setting, a great venue, and I'm over here by some of the suites along the sideline here in AT&T Stadium to talk about Chris Kleiman, a coaching star as he was at North Dakota State. Four national championships in five years. 69 and six overall record. And some people will be quick to point out that he didn't build that program, which he didn't, but there's no doubt he took over a program from Craig Pohl and moved it forward and took it to a whole nother level. Four out of five times he won a national championship. Five seasons, that's all he was the head coach in Fargo and he's entering his fifth season in Manhattan. His record is far more humble in Manhattan at 30 and 20. You throw out that pandemic season when K-State ran out of bodies but refused to not play football. And his record is pretty darn good for a first time coach at the FBS level. Can Chris Kleiman replicate anything close to what he did at North Dakota State? No. In fact, it's hard to do that even at Alabama or Georgia. But he has this program going in the right direction. And if we know one thing about what we've seen from Chris Kleiman so far, is that he will continue to trend upwards. But let's roll the clock back. Let's talk about that moment when Chris Kleiman was hired and how many people thought it was just Gene Taylor hiring his buddy. And I gotta admit, I too at the time thought Gene Taylor won't do this because of that perception. But that belief he had in Chris Kleiman, not just as a coach, but as a person and as a guy that would fit the Kansas State culture so well, he might come and never leave like Bill Snyder. Well, Gene Taylor was right. He's a brilliant coach. And he just signed an eight year new contract and has told people on the Catbacker tour, he's here for good in Manhattan. We all know that times change and things change and maybe that's not true. But if I had to bet right now on how long Chris Kleiman would be at Kansas State as we head into year five of his stay, I'm betting it'll be easy into the double digits and he will indeed retire as a head coach from Kansas State and he will go to a beach and enjoy life. Because another thing that Chris Kleiman has like Bill Snyder is he's a grinder, he's a worker and he never stops thinking football. Some of these coaches here today have talked about their vacations on the beach to get away from things. Chris Kleiman doesn't get away from things, but he'll come time when he decides it's Time to take a vacation with the wife, to enjoy more time with the family. And maybe he will do that with many Big 12 championships in his pocket, and maybe a national title run or two in the process. Can he win it all at K-State? Sure. Is it likely? No. Chris Kleiman has been a blessing to K-State, and as he heads into year five, coming off a Big 12 championship, folks, the best is yet to come.